start at the beginning. There we go. Um, you're at the uh, sort of Lean and Agile Systems Thinking uh, conference, and there's going to be a lot of jargon over the next couple of hours. So I thought I would explain some of those. And let's start with system. Um, a system is a whole, with a W, uh, consisting of parts, each of which can infect its behavior or properties. And each of those parts is dependent on other parts to affect those properties uh, or behaviors. Got that? Yeah? All right. Um, maybe I'll just do an example. You guys are systems, biological systems. And you have one of the most interesting properties is you have life. You live. The interesting thing is that none of your parts live. So that's, that's a very interesting thing. Um, if you cannot take down a system and look at its individual parts, to understand the whole. Um, if you have a car, if you try to drive a car here and take a car, take apart the car, I stop having a car. I'll have a bunch of parts. Not even, no part of a car can get you from A to B. Not the wheel, not the axle, not the engine. So let's talk about complexity. Complexity is a context in which cause and effect cannot be predicted. They can only be understood in hindsight, which is very different than complicated, in which case it's merely very hard to predict cause and effect. So the examples I always use are poker and chess. Poker is complex. There's a lot of stuff you will never know. Looking at your own cards, you, there's no amount of thinking and predicting to see what cards your opponents have. So the objective of the game of poker is to learn what your opponent has. In chess, it's all about predicting. It's very complicated. Whoever is the best person at predicting will win chess. The best person who can learn will win poker. The difference between complicated and complex. Let's move on. Complex systems. A system that's unpredictable, at least in practice, um, because of the type of interactions between parts uh, or the sheer number of them. So this is uh, an entire system. The weather is one of those complex systems. Weather is just physics. It's very, very predictable. But there are so many variables involved that it's impossible to predict the weather more than a couple hours out, especially in Melbourne. Which is why they coined the term the butterfly effect. And the butterfly effect is um, someone was trying to model the weather in the early 60s. And he was doing a pretty good job. Um, but then he accidentally mistyped this really long uh, digit and just transposed one number. And after running the simulation for a couple minutes, the results are widely different. So complex adaptive systems. This is getting, now we're getting to the interesting bits. Complex adaptive systems are systems that are extremely adaptable to change. The way to do this is by being very redundant, self-organizing, and um, so, um, if you sort of know uh, the city where this is from, I'll buy you a beer um, at the reception later. That's, that's going to be 680 beers. Thank you very much. Um, but you're right, it's not about my hometown. Cities are complex adaptive systems, and the interesting bit about cities is people get more productive in them the bigger the city. It doesn't work in organization, it works in cities. Um, ants. An ant itself is a complex system. The complex adaptive systems is the colony of ants. And you need three things for a complex adaptive system. The first is autonomous agents, the ants. Um, and they get to decide by themselves. A queen in an ant colony is an egg laying machine and nothing more. So the other thing you need is peer to peer communications. And ants do this with pheromones, they drop little pieces of sort of smell that they drop on the ground 
Um, and that's how they communicate between them, mainly. Um, and the third thing we're needing is uh, simple rules. Now, the foraging of ants is insanely intricate if you look at it, but there's just two very simple rules. If I have food in my paws, I draw pheromones, a specific one. And if I come, if I don't have food in my hand, and I come across a pheromone, I will follow it. Two very simple rules. Anti-fragile. Um, the opposite of fragile, something that gets better with stress. So it goes beyond robust, which is just less fragile, and it goes beyond resilience. Um, coyotes. In the US, uh, when European settlers got there, uh, they were hunted extensively because they um, thought they preyed on their cattle. So over the last couple centuries, hundreds of thousands of them have been killed every year. How have they been doing? They've absolutely thrived because of it. Uh, they spread out all over the US. Uh, they bred with wolves, uh, and they're now living in the largest US cities uh, with humans. Getting better with stress. So there we go. Systems, complexity, complex system, complex adaptive systems, and anti-fragility. Thank you very much.